Hello, everybody. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave Models. Okay, guys, uh, for this Saturday evening, I have video for for my fun build from SBD Dotless. Okay. I did a lot of stuff off camera. And um, I got a lot of stuff I got to do on before I button up that fuselage. I can add the tail wheel and the tow bar. And uh, also, I got to add the engine mount to the uh, firewall. And that didn't just itself. So, I got to finish up on the engine. I got to add the gas tank, too. So, that goes right in front of the firewall. Everything else just goes together. I had this thing buttoned up tonight. And uh, this ain't be live action tonight. We may have live action on it tomorrow. We'll see uh, how, what kind of preparation I can make on the on the kit now, I'm pretty sure once I get the, the fuselage all buttoned up, I'll, I'll get the top wing tops all buttoned up and, um, and I'll start getting those things painted red inside the, uh, the dive brakes. Okay, I show you so thus far how much I got done on this thing. This thing is about 99 and 9 tenths ready to button up the fuselage and assemble the model. I don't have to worry about using no filler on it. I dry fitted before I put all the guts inside of it and everything. And I think you got about one screw that pulls it together. And uh, everything else just snaps. <laughs> just goes together. And I did some painting on it. I got the, uh, the interior all done and everything. I need to add some seat belts for the uh, pilot seat. And, um, so I got a lot of work to do. It's moving quite along quite well. I mean, I tell you, they did a good job building, uh, making this kit. And, um, it's really enjoyable to build. I really enjoy the hell out of the thing. You know, guys, you gotta get one of these things. These things are not terribly too expensive compared to everything else you buy, you know? Uh, don't go the China route like me. You have to wait but four to five months to get it. So that's what happens when you go cheap, see? So you can't blame me to go out and save a dollar. And uh, I saved a lot of money. I think I saved probably about 50 bucks, 50 to $60 on the same. Perhaps even a little more, I don't know. Uh, but I paid $153 for it, plus $8 shipping. And uh, I'm glad they didn't uh, hose me down on the same. I'll start to have second doubts. Maybe they forgot about old Frankie Day. Maybe I, got, I maybe I got gypped. Maybe I fell victim to the to the COVID shutdown they got out there going on. Or maybe uh, it's on the inside of a tailor ship, lying in lying in the cargo hold somewhere, waiting for it to be out of there to be delivered. That's exactly where it was at. I'll sit in a goddamn container ship out there by. Uh, Long Beach Bay out there. And uh, they finally bring them in and load them. Gosh, I hope it don't take that long for, this, for the good folks to send gifts away from China and expect to get it back by Christmas time. I don't, I, I see that as very less doubtful. Alrighty, boys. I gotta paint the exhaust and add a wash to the back to the exhaust manifolds here to the engine. Everything else has been pretty well taken care of on this thing. It's a, it's a handsome little right cyclone engine. And uh, I airbrush it black. After I primed it first, then I airbrush it black. I think I use that international black I use. International black. And to me, black is black. Negroes is Negroes. So I painted, airbrushed it black. After I airbrushed it black, and went over, used a good sized brush, and uh, gave it a good brushing of, of light aluminum on there. Opened up the veins of the cylinders. And after that, I went back and had some bronze. <laughs> so I had that bronze to it. You, see, you can see the little bronze, uh, how it's like a little goldish color. It kind of spices up the engine real well. I need to add a wash on the governor ring right here.
But here's the uh, the firewall. There's the back right there. I, I had a wash back there already. This is all new. I'm not going to paint that. I'm, I am going to add a wash there. I had a wash inside to the rest of it. These here, the engine mounts, will be painted into your green. So once I get that fuselage buttoned up, I can go ahead and add the, the the firewall and the engine itself. It's all done. Then I got the what the blazes is that there? I know it's here somewhere. I'll wait it here. The cowling. I have a primed inside of this cowling. I issued some carrier green on there. It will fit nicely with the engines that. I think this cowling is removable to show the engine. I'm quite certain it is. The prop shaft ain't no spleen to it, just a round flush shaft. So, all I can do is pop that prop off. And this pops off after you get to show off the engine. Now, this is a good size engine. Now, I may go back and put some wire on that thing. I probably will be. Put some gun ignition wires on there. Right from those push rods. And add a little more scope to the engine. This leaves a lot of, a lot of Pandora box openings here. Good size kit. You build it out of the box. Paint that, make it look nice. It's still good. Still have a detailed right, right cyclone engine. That, that was had. I think it's 1,400 horsepower they have. Quite sure it is. That's a perfect, that's a beautiful looking engine. I wish you guys could see it. Yeah, see it? Hey, I'm, I can get close. I, I'm worried about obscuring this thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it fits over it. Why? I went back on the top of the wing halves. <clears throat> I got the ailerons on. They work very well. And the dive brakes work. This is the top of the wing. I went ahead and painted them white. That way I can paint that red on there. I don't have to worry about overspray coming this way because I'm going to prime it anyway when I get done. I'm going to add massive tape on the inside here. That'll keep that white paint, keep that blue paint, any paint going through these, these dive break preparations, these holes here. Now, you can make this, this model is pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty realistic. And, um, You can do wonders with this kit. I mean, you the only limit to this model is the builder. That's that's what I'm trying to say. You now forget about getting at the market parts for a, for a scale this big. I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I think I'm pretty well right. You're gonna have a devil time trying to find one sixteenth scale at the market parts. You're on your own. You're going to have to make that stuff yourself. You got plenty of reference material on the internet to, to uh, up to download to your files, and you try and you bring your files up and look at the computer, and you can look at it as you model along. That's the only that's the only way you can do it. And that's kind of a scale. That's what I do. It's like a blueprint. Or if you got a blueprint of this, that's even better. If you got a blueprint of the hole inside the mechanism of the travel bars of the dive brakes, that fits on the hydraulic, fits on the center of the wing, you're, you're, you're pretty ahead of the game. In other words, you have to refer to a visual using the search engine. Okay, this wing was cheated the same way.
center wing section is behind me. I'll nab this. Do a fuselage cab. I got the landing gear up. I don't want it to stir with paint and stuff. So on the center wing, I do the same thing. But like those flats, they come down. You can see a hydraulic right here. That'd be painted green. That, which activates your flaps, your die brakes. That's your hydraulics for that. The SPD was probably about the only shipboard fighter that we had, model wing fighter, along with the Brewster Buffalo, the F2A. They didn't have fully wings. A lot of people wonder well, how come they didn't make the Dauntless. The Dauntless was built for the Navy as a shipboard dive bomber. How come they didn't put no fully wings on it? Because it wasn't designed that way. Because they're designed off of a Norfolk BT 1. And uh, all of this is the BT 1. They used the wing. And it actually got designed from uh, old Jim Norfolk. And Donald Douglas got a hold of it and kind of changed things around, but kept that wing. So that wing is, is unchanged. Only change in the wing is, is, the, is the undercarriage wells because on the BT-1, they didn't fold up like they, like they do on the Dotless, like on the, on the original Dotless. They fold up and they, they got a half a tire hanging out, almost like a TBD Devastator. That was a trademark of the 1930s. They always had the landing gear halfway out, halfway folded the nacelles. They did that in case if you come in for a landing like that, you're not going to bust up your props and everything. It would be a safe way to land. They can do much damage to your plane, which was a good idea. But later on, they start retracting inside the wells with full covers. Okay, on the Dotless, ran one too much, fellas, but makes the video worthwhile I've got the interior done in this thing I got to add seat belts to it I got a bunch of those I'm making right now I'm gonna add in there before I button up the fuselage it's 30 caliber back here it comes up it travels right along the uh Yeah, there you go. Right along the, uh, <coughs> the elevation rail. And that comes down. It folds right this little compartment back here. And it closes the little doors right here. Has door. It opens up like this. And you can put the gun there and everything. I had it here last, last night. I want to fool with it. Anyway, it goes right inside that well there and the door closes up. I had it here last night. Oh, yeah, no one didn't push this all the way down. Well, anyway. Now, here's one thing that stumps the hell out of me. I don't know if this is the real deal, but I'm going to get on the internet and I'm going to find out if this thing exists or not is right here it looks like a, a navigation table where you put your maps on pilot sits here underneath the table you get your joystick see what i mean jesus christ you're going to a dive that thing or bust your guts i don't know if that exists that's what it says on the instructions fellas 
That's exactly what it says on the instructions. And uh, that's what it says on the plans. So I'm going to do some research in there. So you got a lot of detail in this cockpit. There's a hell of a lot of detail in there. I mean, they did a good job when they reduced this model. You can see on top of the end, top of the, the caliber, how it slides across here. It slides around. That's what it does. It slides around in there. Okay, that's about as far as I got in this thing. So I got a little work to do if I buttoned up the two saws in video five. The dot must be pretty much together and be ready for painting. And we'll make a live action video of one of the paint jobs of the dot was. That'd be very good. So I'll do that. So I just figured give you guys a fast update of this thing, see how it's going along. I had such a good time with this thing. Can't keep my hands off it. It's so big and. <sighs> Definitely a dotless. Okay. I'm going to sign up right here, guys, to get to work. Ain't got some serious model building on this dotless tonight. Get this thing all buttoned up. So I can rest and watch a good movie. Enjoy myself for the night and take the rest of the night off. It's probably a good idea. It's a plan. I think I'll stick to the plan. Okay. This is Frankie Day from Frankie Day Models signing off. Take care of Mama. Take care of the little ones. Stay focused on your drive and spend wisely. And be aware of your surroundings. It's cold outside. It's Christmas time's coming up. It's your time of the year. Don't let things bother you guys. Just everybody, you know, let just enjoy the year and make it good for the kids. And good Lord will take care of the rest. Because Frankie Day says so. That's why. And say your prayers. Always say your prayers. God will listen to your prayers and pretty soon good things come to those that wait. And uh, I know these things. Okay. We'll see, see in video uh, five. That'll be the complete assembly of Dotless. And we'll know, then we'll schedule a live action for the paint job. I got to get back on the F4U Corsair. I have not put any wash on it yet. I've been fiddle filing around with this, this Dotless for the last couple of days. And um, like I say, I'm having such a, a, a wonderful time. A play with this thing, it's just you just can't put it down. I know I'm gonna button everything up tonight, it's starting to be all, be all uniform, make my seat belts, I do a little touch up penny here and there. Then I'm gonna use this camera here, my camcorder, to take some good pictures because this thing here does nothing compared to this thing here. Even live, this thing is, is it's it's nice, it's it looks real to me. It's very nice. I, I love the stopless. Okay. Break your days out of here. You guys take care. And we'll catch you on the next video. It'll be video five. So stay, stay tuned. Stay focused for that. God bless you guys. Love you fellas out there. And thank you for all my new subscribers. And all my subscribers. And all of your views and candid. And most beautiful, wonderful comments. I'm very honored here, guys. I love you fellas. You guys take care of yourself. I'll see you in video five. Stay posted for that.